About a month ago, I showcased the new client side boat tech, and since then, there have been two new uses of this tech that have been found. Uh, what I just showed, facing through a three block thick wall with one boat, and facing through a two block thick floor without dropping the boat from anything. So let's get started with the three block thick wall. This was discovered by Pro Gamer Sim, and in terms of concept, it's the same. Facing through the third block thick wall is the same as facing through the first or second layer. I'm going to be using a mod to show the server side boat. I'll put a download in the description. Uh, so facing through the third layer is the same as facing through the third or second layer because you just want to get the clients, the boat client side in the wall, and uh, get in that boat. So it's basically the same as the first or second layer. But the problem with the third layer is because you're already two layers in, it's really hard to access the boat to do that desync and get in the boat. So what ProGamerZim does, how they got around that, is instead of um, instead of doing the desync here, right in front of the third layer, they instead um, do the desync back here. So they have the boat clipped two layers in, and then they do the desync here on this little sliver that you can access. They do a boat raise to get the client side boat in front of the server side boat just a little bit. And then they clip into the ground under the boat and push the boat forward and then enter the boat. So that's that's basically how how it's done, but there is more to talk about. So in order to actually pull it off, you first need to uh, phase through the first two layers. Uh, and when you're at the when you phase when you're at the second layer when you once you phase the first layer, uh, you can check what your coordinates are when you're at that layer. Uh, depending on your what direction you're looking and what axis you're on, the number you want to look at is different. But here, this is um, my z value while I'm up against this wall, and that'll be used later once I need to um, desync the boat. So you phase through the first two layers, and then you want to align the boat against a wall that, so that you can punch it and desync it into that wall. And once you're here, you face the boat in the direction away from the wall, um, and you go backwards. And that the, the value that you saw earlier uh, when it was up against the second layer Use that to see if the boat is still in that layer. So I know uh, 3.3125 is that value, so I can I want to get the boat as far away as I can without crossing that value. Because that just gives you more room for the desync. So you go back and give yourself room here. And then now here you you do a boat raise. And the reason you do a boat raise and not just a different desync is because the player height is above the boat. So once you're clipped into the block below the boat, if you look directly forward, you can see that the player's head, uh, their eye, eye line is uh, above the boat, so you won't be able to reach the boat unless it's up higher. And that's why you have to raise the boat. You do this by um, punching it and entering and exiting it at the same time. I'll add some blocks here. So you do that, and then you uh, desync it again. You do another client side boat, and when that when the boat is raised, it's just barely uh, enough so that when you're clipped into the block there, which I can do, when you're clipped into the block there, and you're looking directly forward, you can enter the boat. So that's why you do a boat raise. It is tricky to do the boat raise though because you'll end you'll exit the boat um, 
you'll exit the boat here. So you need to uh, walk back to to be able to enter the boat as fast as you can. Because the boat, um, whenever you do a boat raise, the boat resinks really, uh, really quickly. So you need to do the boat raise and then as, as quick as you can walk back. And there is either some randomness to how fast the, um, the boat resinks or it's on a loop, on a, on a cycle. And if you, if you mess up some of the boat raises, uh, you can always just uh, enter the boat and go back to give yourself more space, more access to the boat. There we go. So you get the boat here, you do a boat raise, and then you try to get back as fast as you can to uh, do another client side boat to stop it from resinking. And there we go. I think I got it. Yep. And now once you're here, you have done the desync, so you can clip into the block under the boat and then push it forward. So you set your FPS to 20 because um, how the how the clicking works is uh, when you enter and exit the boat in the same frame, you um, are able to clip into the block under the boat because it um, you exit the boat where you are riding the boat, and uh, that's that's how the one block clipping works. And then once you do that, you want to wait for the boat to be pushed forward so you don't move for a very small amount of time, and then you want to run forward, sprint forward. Uh, if you automatically sprint forward, you'll push the boat back. So you want to do it, wait and then run forward. And then you can enter the boat and phase through the third layer. Every once in a while, the boat doesn't get high enough to um, be able to reach it. I'm not sure why that happens. It might be missing the the timing for doing for um, entering the client side boat again uh, to stop the resinking. But it does happen every once in a while, so watch out for that. And, but yeah, that's basically it. That's how you phase through the three of the cabal. And now moving on to the two block thick floor. So when you normally do a boat raise, you sprint punch your boat, enter and exit it all at the same time. And when that happens, the client side boat is higher than the server side boat. But Adam and programmers have found that if you delay that desync, if you sprint punch the boat and then enter and exit it, you can actually get the client side boat to be below the server side boat. And it'll automatically resync because the server side boat um, becomes grounded. But if you enter the boat while that's happening, while it's resyncing, you can actually clip the boat into the block below. And uh, you can see that here. Uh, and if you uh, enter and exit the boat, um, when you're doing that, it will phase into the block below. But if you just enter it, you can break the boat. So this is a consistent way to break boats. Uh, but you can also use this to do the two block thick floor phase. And instead of showing that here, I'm going to play a clip and explain it through that, because I think it's easier to understand. All right, and that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and see ya.